Recently, I filmed a video answering the question if it is safe to go to the beach with a tracheostomy tube or ventilator. Since releasing the video, I've been asked if it is okay to go swimming with a tracheostomy tube or ventilator. Join me this week as I answer those questions. Swimming with a tracheostomy tube is not recommended by doctors. The main threat of swimming is aspiration of water into the tracheostomy tube. Aspiration is the introduction of liquids or solids into the airway. Due to the placement of the tracheostomy tube, the risk of aspirating greatly increases when swimming with a tracheostomy tube. Aspiration can cause infection, serious brain trauma, and death. Adults with tracheostomy tubes may be able to go swimming using specialized equipment. A snorkel-like device is attached to the tracheostomy tube and prevents water from entering the tracheostomy tube. Extreme caution needs to be heeded when using this specialized equipment. If the snorkel is not properly attached to the tracheostomy tube, the equipment may leak water into the person's airway and cause the person to aspirate. For this reason, the person with the tracheostomy tube must remain under close supervision while in the water. It is not recommended to go swimming with a ventilator. A ventilator is a computer and computers do not like water. If the ventilator gets wet, it may short circuit and stop working. Also remember, the ventilator tubing has an exhalation valve on it. The valve provides a leak in the tubing to allow carbon dioxide to escape the breathing circuit. If the tubing is submerged in water, water can enter the exhalation valve. The ventilator will then push the water through the tubing and into the person's airway. This may cause the person to aspirate. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Happy Independence Day, America. Bye-bye.